Ever been left puzzled by a compliment that felt more like a jab? That's just one of the ways the passive-aggressive covert narcissist can subtly manipulate those around them. Consider this, a seemingly innocuous compliment which upon closer inspection reveals a veiled criticism. This is the art of the backhanded compliment, a favorite tool of the covert narcissist. It's a tricky tactic that leaves you questioning their true intentions and your own worth. Then there's the martyr complex. Here the covert narcissist plays the victim, painting themselves as the misunderstood hero of a tragic tale. They're always the one wronged, never the wrongdoer. This strategy allows them to elicit sympathy and deflect attention from their own actions, keeping you off balance and in a constant state of guilt. Speaking of guilt, let's talk about guilt tripping. The covert narcissist is a master at making you feel responsible for their negativity or unhappiness. It's a manipulative move designed to control your behavior and keep you tethered to them, always trying to make things right. And lastly, we have feigning ignorance. This is when the covert narcissist pretends not to understand your requests or boundaries. This tactic allows them to avoid accountability and maintain their air of innocence. It's a cunning way to make you second guess your own perceptions and needs. These subtle manipulation tactics can leave you feeling confused and off balance. They're designed to play with your emotions and keep you in a state of uncertainty. It's like being on a roller coaster, one that you didn't sign up for but can't seem to get off. Recognizing these tactics is the first step in navigating the treacherous waters of a relationship with a covert narcissist. It's about understanding their playbook and learning to see their actions for what they really are. Manipulative strategies designed to maintain control. So, the next time you're left puzzled by a compliment that feels more like a jab, take a moment to consider what's really going on. Ever felt like you're being punished with silence or emotional distance? Welcome to the covert narcissist's silent weapon, emotional withholding. This tactic can take many forms, each designed to manipulate and control. There's the silent treatment, a classic move where the narcissist withdraws affection or communication, leaving you in a state of confusion and distress. Then there's stonewalling, where they refuse to engage in discussions or offer vague responses, making it impossible for you to address issues or express your feelings. Emotional distance is another common strategy where the narcissist maintains a cool and detached demeanor, creating a void in the relationship that leaves you feeling isolated and starved for connection. And finally, there's the feigned illness or fatigue, a convenient excuse to avoid intimacy or responsibility, further deepening that emotional chasm. Understanding these withholding tactics can help you make sense of the emotional roller coaster that often comes with a covert narcissist. Ever felt undermined or sabotaged but couldn't quite pinpoint how or why? Well, this could be the covert narcissist's power play at work. These individuals are experts at undermining and sabotaging, employing a range of strategies that can create an atmosphere of distrust and isolation. Let's delve into those tactics. First, there's procrastination and delays. The covert narcissist might deliberately delay tasks or responsibilities, not out of laziness, but as a means to frustrate and make you feel dependent on them. It's a classic manipulation tactic designed to exert control and create a sense of indispensability. Next, there's the spreading of misinformation and confusion. This could involve planting seeds of doubt about other people or even about yourself. Such tactics are designed to create a climate of uncertainty and mistrust, making it easier for the narcissist to manipulate and control situations to their advantage. Another power play is taking credit for your achievements. A covert narcissist may downplay your contributions while exaggerating their own. This is all part of inflating their image and devaluing yours, a ploy to make you feel lesser and them superior. Lastly, the covert narcissist may resort to creating jealousy and possessiveness. They might control your interactions with others, spark unnecessary conflicts, or even play the victim to isolate you from your support system. This is yet another control tactic designed to make you feel insecure and reliant solely on their support. These tactics are subtle, often leaving the victim questioning their own perception of reality. This is why it's so important to be aware of these strategies. Recognizing them for what they are can be empowering and is the first step in breaking free from the covert narcissist's power play.
So if you ever find yourself questioning whether you're being undermined or sabotaged, pay attention to these tactics. Are they familiar? Have you experienced them? If so, it's time to take action. Being aware of these tactics is key in protecting yourself from a covert narcissist power play. So, how do you protect yourself in a relationship with a covert narcissist? That's the question we're going to tackle now. First and foremost, it's crucial to set clear boundaries. These are the guidelines that define what's acceptable and what's not in your relationship. Consistently communicate your expectations and non-negotiables. Be firm and unyielding in asserting your boundaries. This step is essential to maintaining your self-respect and personal space. Second, avoid getting drawn into their games. This may seem challenging, given the covert narcissist's knack for manipulation and drama, but it's crucial for your sanity. Remember, you don't have to participate in every argument you're invited to. Your focus should be on preserving your emotional energy and prioritizing your well-being. Then, document their behavior. This might sound excessive, but it's a practical way to gain perspective on the situation and protect yourself from gaslighting. Keep a record of instances when they've used manipulative tactics. This evidence serves as a reminder that you're not crazy or overreacting, but are in fact dealing with a skilled manipulator. Next, seek support. This journey is not one to be walked alone. Build a strong support system of trusted friends, family or a therapist who can offer validation and guidance. Their outside perspective can be an invaluable resource in navigating this challenging situation. Finally, prioritize your well-being. Your emotional and mental health are paramount. It's not selfish to put yourself first. If the relationship becomes harmful, don't be afraid to step away. Your safety and happiness are of utmost importance. In conclusion, dealing with a covert narcissist is no easy feat. It requires awareness, determination, and a lot of self-care. But remember, you're not just surviving this situation, you're learning and growing from it. Remember, you are not alone in dealing with a passive-aggressive covert narcissist. Prioritize your well-being and seek support when necessary. And always remember, your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth.